In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you how to use the brand new feature of macOS 15 Sequoia and iOS 18, which is iPhone mirroring. Using this, you can control your iPhone 16 or any other iPhone from your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or any Mac devices wirelessly, even without your iPhone inside. So let's see how to screen mirror your iPhone to a MacBook. First of all, you'll need to double check the following. Your iPhone is running iOS 18 or later. Both your Mac and your iPhone has the same Apple ID. They have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. And you're not using mobile data on your iPhone. Neither using AirPlay or Sidecar mode on your Mac. Now we're ready to start iPhone mirroring. After updating to macOS Sequoia, you'll have the iPhone mirroring option right in the dock. But if you don't see it here, then you can just use the spotlight search and search up iPhone mirroring. Make sure that your iPhone is nearby, then hit continue. If you get this prompt, then you'll need to set up a passcode on your iPhone. Just open settings, go to face ID and passcode, and select turn passcode on. Create your passcode, and hit try again on your Mac. After that, you'll need to verify your passcode on your iPhone. So I'll just put in my passcode here. And after that, you'll be asked if you want to allow or don't allow notifications. I'll select allow and you can change these options later from the iPhone mirroring settings. Then simply hit get started. Then you may need to enter your touch ID or max passcode. Now you'll probably see this screen which will say iPhone in use. Which means you'll need to have your iPhone locked to use the iPhone mirroring feature. And after I've locked it, it will start mirroring our iPhone screen on our Mac. And using iPhone mirroring, you can do everything except some stuff, like using your iPhone's camera or microphone. This also means you won't be able to make calls. Now let's see the basic features. If you go to the top, you'll see two buttons will appear. The first one will take you to home screen, and the other one is the app switcher button. And when you're inside an app, you can just press on the bottom bar to go back to home. And while mirroring your iPhone, to access your phone's notification, just open your Mac's notification center. And all your iPhone's notification will pop up here. You can also move this window by going up and then dragging this bar around. And from the view option, you can make it larger or smaller. And if you play some audio on your iPhone through the iPhone mirroring, the audio will play from your Mac. And now for the most cool feature. You can copy text from your iPhone and paste it right onto your Mac. And not just that, now you can also drag and drop any file including photos, videos, documents, emojis from a chat, you name it, directly between your Mac and your iPhone without needing to airdrop them. After you have mirrored your iPhone once to your MacBook, you can just close this window and your iPhone will stay paired with your Mac. So you can start using iPhone mirroring anytime you want just by opening it. And that's how you can screen mirror your iPhone to any Mac or MacBook with macOS Sequoia. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more guides like this and I'll see you in the next one.